30 years of my life fighting the drug traffic with the Justice Department. Now they're going after me because I'm following the law. I took an oath of office to do, and they want to get rid of this sheriff, want to monitor my office, take over my office for political reasons, and I'm not going to stand for Are you it. I don't worry. My, uh, my dedicated deputy sheriffs are doing their job, and I don't like the Justice Department saying we are racist and we have a pattern of racial profiling. So you know what? They've had their press conference December 15, just when the Supreme Court w was going to hear the 1070 law. Now the Supreme Court has heard it just recently. They have another press conference. The Attorney General uh, was under fire in December 15. Now he's under fire again. So every time there's a problem in Washington, they come to me. I guess I'm the poster boy uh, for fighting illegal immigration. Well, sure. They won't give us the facts. They are talking about it. They refuse to give us witnesses and how they came about this. So I have no idea. But you know what? Go in the court. Now they're going to have to put up, explain everything, show their evidence, and we will be able to defend ourselves. They keep electing me because I'm doing my job. I have compassion for the Mexican people. I lived there for four years. I was a director there. South America, Turkey, Texas. So I know where the U.S. border is, having been the top law enforcement guy there for 12 years. I have compassion, but I'll tell you, enforcing the law overrides my compassion. Okay. That's what I took an oath of office to do. I'm not going to let the federal government run my office. I'm the elected constitutional sheriff. I report to the people, four million in this county. They want to take over my office, and I have to tell them every time I want to do something. That's the, that's the problem with this lawsuit. That's okay. the sticking point.